In this tutorial, we're going to see how to create a three-dimensional roof. For this example, we're going to use our garage floor plan number one. And after opening the garage floor plan, let's just first go ahead and delete the border. And let's also turn off the dimension layer. So we just have the garage floor plan itself. And let's continue by clicking on the Home tab and choosing the Roof command. You may have to click on the uh, little down arrow to the right of the Roof slab command to see the actual Roof command that we're looking for. And what we're looking to do is just draw a roof by, by clicking the four corners of the outside edge of the garage floor plan. But let's look at some of the properties for the roof. First of all, our thickness for our roof is going to be 6 inches, so let's change that right away. And our overhang is probably going to be a foot, so we'll keep that. Our plate height should equal the height of the ceiling. In our case, our plate height was 8 feet. And we're going to use a 612 roof slope. So let's change the rise here from a foot to 6 inches and that should be everything we want to change for now. We may come back and adjust the roof later on. But again, I'm just going to click on the four corners of the roof. I'm going in a clockwise manner. It doesn't matter as long as you pick the corners in order and don't go you know, crisscrossing across the uh, floor plan. But you'll see a, a little uh, diagram up here for the roof. And after you've hit the fourth corner, just hit enter. And now let's take a quick look in 3D by using the view cube and clicking on the home icon. And maybe let's play around with the visual style and see how this looks uh, in 3D. Okay, so there we have successfully uh, drawn our first 3D roof. Let's now look at how the elevation of our of our roof would look. And what we have here is a hip roof. And in just a moment we're going to change this to be a gable roof. But let's say we look at this from the left side and zoom in a little bit. Notice how the corners of our roof kind of come down at an angle. We can fix that just by clicking on the roof, double clicking. And we're looking for the edge cut variable. Right now it's set to square. Let's change that to plumb. And you should be able to see the effect that it changes. Let's look at it again. When it's square, it kind of angles in uh, toward the, the walls. And when it's plumb, it goes straight down or so that it's plumb. Okay, so let's look at, at changing this from a hip roof to a gable roof. I'm going to click back on my home icon get in a 3d view and actually what I want to do is I have the roof selected and you can see all the little light blue handles on my particular roof I'm just going to grab this handle at the peak of this uh, slope right here on the uh, left end of our garage and I'm going to drag this out until it's straight up and down like so I don't know if it's easy to tell on the video, but right there is what I'm looking for. Now you'll see there's a little gap in the roof. We'll, we'll fix that in a minute, but let's go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to rotate my view around a little bit and grab this little blue handle and drag the roof out until it's straight on the end. And let's just double check by looking at our front view to make sure our roof is uh, looking good. And I do believe it is. Let's check it from the right and from the rear. I think we're in good shape with our roof. Or are we? Let's go back and double check by looking at a 2D wireframe or a 3D hidden. No, 
uh, 2D wireframe looks better. And yeah, I think our roof is okay. All right, now let's look at uh, seeing how we can fix that gap in the roof. Let's get back to a nice 3D view. And let's pick a nice visual style style that we like to work with. Okay, so you can see now the gap in the roof again. And what we want to do is first click on the wall. And in the ribbon, when you click on the wall, you should see a modify panel. And what we're looking for is the modify roof floor line. And depending on the uh, resolution of your screen, you may see some actual uh, text here. Uh, but I'm just seeing icons at my resolution. But we click on that little symbol, and you can see there's an edit in place, modify roof line, and so on. And what we want to choose is the modify roof line. And what we want to do is auto project this wall so it touches the roof. So I'm going to click or enter A and enter and select the roof then. And then when I hit enter, you should see the roof being projected up to the, I mean, you should see the wall being projected up to the roof. Let's rotate around in our 3D view so we can see the other end. And let's choose that wall. Actually, I'm going to hit enter to exit my roof line command. Let's check or click on the wall. If I click on the correct wall. There we go. And again, we're going to use that same command, modify roof line. We're going to enter A for auto project. We're going to then select our roof and hit enter. And we now have a nice cable roof with the uh, ends of the walls filling in the gaps that we had previously. Once we have our roof completed, let's just print out a, a simple 3D view of this garage. So let's go into paper space. And by default, you may see a, a viewport that you're happy with. A single viewport is good enough in this case. And let's just put a border around here. So we're going to insert a block, choose our border our title block information and we'll, we should be able to print from here and I'm again going to suggest you uh, use the grayscale uh, visual style since we're printing this on the um, monochrome laser printer <laughs>